Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. So I have a lovely, large Goose Creek candle haul. Okay, so this, the story behind my lovely sweater is my daughter and I went shopping for back to school and she... <laughs> She did not like this neon color, and but I was like, I love it. I'm an 80s girl, so I was like, I'm getting it. I don't care. So the other reason I thought it was super cute was because I knew I had these candles coming from Goose Creek. So they did launch a Beetlejuice collection, and I saw it in an email. This lid is not sticking. Oh, there we go. I had seen it in an email. Or no, this was, at first I got, I went on the website looking for another candle. And I saw when I was looking through candles, and then you look on the left side and it goes through like the different collections, which I got a few of here. The Care Bears, um, Peter Rabbit. So then I had seen Beetlejuice and I was like, oh, this must not be out yet. And so I clicked on it though, just to see it. And it was, and I was like, and I think a couple days after I got it, there was an email and I was like, well, thank goodness I already ordered it because what if it had sold out? As far as I saw the other day, it wasn't sold out. So I'm a huge Beetlejuice fan. I actually watched it this weekend because I just love it. I thought this shirt was super cute. Whenever I do my Beetlejuice nails for Halloween, I like, I'm not a Halloween person, but I love Beetlejuice. So I always do a Beetlejuice nail, nails you know, and I love this color. So I thought, okay, perfect. So this one is Mitlin House or is it Matlin House? Gosh, I just watched the star movie this weekend too. I think it's Matlin. So it's Blooming Wildflowers, Sunlit Citrus and Rolling Green Hills. Um, A, the label is killer and the little um, beetles are kind of iridescent. You guys, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous floral. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It's green. It's floral. Like, I totally imagine the mansion being like this. And again, I love this movie. And I was already looking at nail designs for this year. I would have loved the whole collection, but I wanted some other candles as well. This one is Here Lies Beetle Geist. Okay, so why... This was my question to my husband when we were watching it this weekend. Why Beetle Geist, but then you say Beetlejuice? Why do I not know the answer for that when I love this show? I'm not an expert by any means, but I love the show. Okay, so this one is Graveyard Soil, Tombstone Moss, and Misty Fog. Again, I like those. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is walking outside in a wet, dewy, foggy night. This is a beautiful, beautiful, earthy scent. If you, like you don't, so I haven't ordered any of the Kringle ones yet, from their launch because the one I wanted was a gourmand and it sold out within like six minutes I guess and so I was like well I'm not ordering then there was a couple that I wanted but when that one sold out I was like I'm not getting I'm not gonna order then um I do enjoy gourmand but if that's the only one that like sold out it's like they obviously don't understand that most people are gourmand lovers so I just was like forget it um they do have like they have some of my favorite Christmas scents so I was like eh, just whatever like I said I'm just more of a gourmand girl but when I read the notes on this one I was like okay I have some vendor racks that kind of reminds me of this I might both of these are good enough that I would go back and grab another of both of these these are that good I I am going to work on um burning those and I will post videos and my candle reviews are only usually like five minutes if that. I just want to go over the performance mainly and if I like the scent once I burned it. I'm actually burning a couple right downstairs right now and I'm working on a Yankee candle that I actually just got when April and I went shopping. I got that candle and I went back and got another one and my daughter did get the witching hour one which I didn't like. April didn't like it but the guy said it was like one of the top sellers for Halloween and my daughter ended up loving it so I did get her a wax melt because she doesn't she's not going to do candles in her room. She's only 13. I'm not going to no, I'm not doing that. Um, so I didn't want that in my main area, but I did let her get a melt. So, all right. And then this was on sale for like $8.99. And I thought, I'm going to grab one of the Care Bear ones again. This was something else I watched as a kid. Absolutely love it. Um, love the colors, the rainbow. Um, I love God's rainbow. You know, like it's just beautiful. And 
rainbows in general. So this one is cotton candy, sugar sprinkles, mandarin, lemon, and lime. Again, they had a couple. One was like a rainbow shirt. This wasn't the rain. Oh, this is a cotton candy one. Because they had one that was like a, duh. They had one that was like rainbow sherbet. This is really good. This is like a fruity cotton candy. This is gorgeous. Very strong. I can't, like I'm going to burn these because I do save the vessels if I like them. So I'm going to burn it. It's just so pretty. Okay, I had to go back and grab another peanut butter and jelly because I really did enjoy this one. This is peanut butter, toasted bread, raspberry jelly, and strawberry jelly. My empty one is right there. I just get a nice berry and peanut butter. This is really good. I get a little bit of the bread. No, this was a, this was more light medium, okay, in my open concept. My open concept is very, very big, and it's really hard with one candle. Um, I haven't tried it in my bedroom. I think that's where I'm going to try this just to see if I can get that performance amped up. But the scent in the background was very pretty, so I wanted to get another one because that matters to me. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't need to be super strong performer if, it's a great scent in the background. Okay, I did grab an, so I have one of the Peter Rabbit. I have the peony one. Um, I love that peony. So this one is bread and milk and the scent notes in this one. Oh, this one, that's right. They don't have the scent notes on this. these, some of the older ones, but now the newer ones they do. This is a gorgeous bread scent. That's honestly what I'm getting. Hmm, maybe there's a little bit of, is there like a little bit of cinnamon in this? almost like it's almost there but this is beautiful I again I love this I love I used to read this book to my kids when they were babies like I just think it's such a great book and I want another one okay this was the other one that I was actually looking for because I wanted to make sure it wasn't discontinued this is Christmas tree cakes after my order um, I saw it sold out. So this was sitting there for literally six months and I just kept having it sit in my cart because I don't order from Goose Creek all that often, but I do love their candles. Uh, so I will say too, as far as customer service, they had a lot of orders come in and I did get, actually I got text because I signed up for text. So that's my choice. Um, but I did get a text saying that, hey, they're like, they've gotten a lot of orders, they're shipping, they're getting out as soon as possible. They gave me a coupon code and apologized. And then they gave me like within a day or two, I got tracking. And again, they said, thank you for your patience. Like, I really appreciated that. Just that communication key, because I know I'm going to get my candles. I wasn't really worried, but I was worried when I saw this sold out and I was like, oh, shoot, are they going to fulfill it or not? But they did. So this is. Um, it doesn't have scent notes, but I have a lot of vendor wax that smells exactly like this. And so I was like, this will be perfect with my vendor wax. This is gorgeous. It smells just like uh, a white cake with the frosting, like just like these are. I absolutely love these at Christmas time. My body doesn't love them, but I certainly do. So this, oh, I don't want that box to fall. Okay, so this one is new, er, and this is new to me. It's homemade bread, which this one is. Fresh baked bread, soft spice, spices and buttery vanilla. I'm sorry, I haven't shown you these pretty labels. Um, this is, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so this definitely has more of um, the spices, like a cinnamon, maybe like a cinnamon sugar. Okay, this one is more bread. Yeah, okay, so I'm not mad at either one, like, I really, I saw this one had the um, soft spices, I assume like a cinnamon sugar. And this definitely does. It's very, very pretty. Hmm, that is gorgeous. Again, pretty label, just nice and classic. Okay. I do have one melt because I wasn't sure about this ma caramel maple butter scent. So I thought, well, if I get it in a melt, yeah, it's too maple heavy for me. But I'm going to warm it and see because I do love maple. Maple nut ice cream is my favorite ice cream ever. My husband went to the store this weekend and he's like, oh, let's, they were getting ice cream and they didn't have uh, Kemp's maple nut ice cream. And my husband said to my son, who is 15, my husband's like, well, let's get this other one and mom can try it. And he's like, do not get her that. She will not like it. <laughs> she won't be happy. And I was like, 
I am a creature of habit. I like what I like and I, I don't really like trying new things, which is just my personality. I, I will try things, but generally I just like the original. So I want, because maple can be really, I'm very picky about maple scents and flavors apparently. Um, I, I'm going to warm this because it, 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 like there's parts of me that really like this and I just want to see how the caramel with the maple melts down. So I didn't want to commit to a candle, but I thought that would be good to try that one. Okay, so, all right, let's do this one. This is a repurchase for me. I have melts in this, and they still had the older candle up, but it was the same price, and I was like, well, I want the new fun label, right? So this one is brown sugar churros. It's brown sugar fried churros, cinnamon caramel pecans, and spiced vanilla. I'm going to say this one is not heavy. Like you would think with all these notes, you would burn this or warm this and this would be. Now I like gourmand and I like a house filler. I've had this candle and I've had this melt. This is a house filler. This will scent my whole downstairs. Now I have a Kringle candle right now. I've already reviewed it. It's the caramel or is it the praline buttercream or whatever. It's on my videos. I did a short and a video, like a short video, like three minutes. That one is a par house. And this one has been in the past for me as well. And this is honestly the best churro scent I've ever had. There is cinnamon, there's churro, there's the brown sugar is done re really, really well in this. This is an exceptional, exceptional fall bakery scent. Like, I feel like this is definitely a fall heavy. This isn't something I would burn in the spring. This is a heavier note in the sense of it's not like waffle cone. Well, no, because waffle cones, waffle cone is kind of, can be. Funnel cake is the other one that's a little bit lighter. And speaking of, here's carnival cake. So this one is... Fried dough, melted butter, powdered sugar, whipped cream, and warm spices. So this is definitely more uh, funnel cake, the carnival elephant ears scent. You get that deep fried note. But it's not, this isn't the same as Homeworks, uh, what is it, fried? Oh, I have that dang candle over there. Is it the donut one? Hot cider donut. That is like the best donut scent, even over Kringle. I have Kringle's uh, jelly donut. No homeworks. That there. Uh, for, what is it? I say it was hot cider donut. Oh my gosh, that is phenomenal. Now this, there. This is more um, dough than some powdered sugar, but I've never. I don't believe. I could be totally wrong, but I don't believe that. I think this is new to me. Um, I don't think this is new to them, but maybe I did burn it, but I don't remember. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, if I went back and looked at my Goose Creek hauls, maybe I have, and I'm really hoping I haven't because, you know, I, I wanted to try something new. But this one is a new scent to Kringle. And again, this la these labels are gorgeous. Look at the black top. This is stunning. Like, all of these labels are beautiful. And I know I said I don't like fall because it means winter is coming I love the colors of fall. I don't mind the sweaters, but it's just because I know winter is coming and I really don't like winter and yeah. Okay, so this is sea salt, caramel, praline, warm peanut butter, and that's why I got this one. Salted, mixed nuts, vanilla, and caramel. I I don't know what I'm smelling in this. I feel like it's a lot of caramel and it almost, it's like a pecan or very heavy nut. I'm not getting a lot of peanut butter. But I'm not sure, like, the scent makes sense to me. It's not exact. I don't know. It doesn't smell like a sea salt to me, but I don't know. Maybe you've had different ones than I have. I think I might burn this one. I know this is new. I want to see. It, it's very strong. Like, all of these, except the Peter Rabbit bread and milk, that and the Christmas tree one, those are, like, more on the, a little bit medium light medium because they just don't smell as strong but that doesn't mean that they won't perform when I burn them and again it depends where I burn them right but this is very strong and again I if you're at between the two of brown sugar churros and sea salt caramel praline I would always pick this one this is such a great performer and I know they're like they're not they're very strong when I'm smelling them on cold but man, this label is killer with this black 
top. Is it Brett from the Candle Channel? I believe he works there, and I don't know if he had a role in designing these, but well done if he did, because this, like all of this, you know, I love circuses. This just makes my heart just happy. I'm going to keep all of these because they are very, very stunning candles. Okay, last but certainly not least, I did get another one. I think the only one in this one I might not have gotten would have been the caramel maple butter, but you guys, look at this French toast. Now, I did smell this, and I think I've had this before, and I can't remember what I thought, which is kind of sad because then I'm thinking, well, obviously it wasn't a, maybe it wasn't a love. Um, this one is French toast, butter, maple, pecans, vanilla. Again, none of these smell the same by any means at all. Like none of them are similar, but these are great gourmand scents. Oh my gosh. I still brown sugar churros just still wins my heart. And then I love those Beetlejuice ones. And that Care Bear one, if you like cotton candy, that is phenomenal. So I, if I'm going to burn this, I think my husband would really like this scent just because it's more like the French toast kind of thing. And he loves that. I don't get, it's like, it's like French toast with brown sugar. Like that's what I'm smelling. I don't know about maple. If that's what's, no, I just smell like I smell more brown sugar. But anyway, that was my haul. I absolutely love these labels. They're matte. And then like the, the leaves here are gold foil. I just, they did an exceptional job with these. I'm, Oh, these are just stunning. Look at these ones. Okay, I'm going to try to not drop them and show you. And the Beetlejuice ones are great too, but these are so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, that was my haul from Goose Creek. I haven't ordered from them in a while, and I was just, I'm a sucker for their fall Christmas scents. Um, I found a lot that I've really enjoyed, and I, I really, really, these two are, again, I didn't get them all. But I absolutely love the notes on these when I was looking, and I'm not disappointed these at all. I would definitely get one more of each. Again, look at the stunning black lids. I just really appreciate when they go outside and they do, like, the white lids and they, they match them. Like, I just think this is so pretty. I, I just... I don't know. I guess I've had really good luck with Goose Creek. I'm not sponsored by Goose Creek. I bought these all with my own money. But I have thoroughly enjoyed that I can get more of what I like there. I've just been really disappointed with Bath and Body um, because they don't have as much bakery as I would like. And just some of those scents are just not my preference. And I know it's hard when you can't go in and smell these, but I'm really excited. And that's why I wanted to share my haul with you. So if you have similar preferences, maybe this would be helpful for you. So thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye. Bye.